In this chapter, we will learn about Euclid's definitions and axioms, Euclid's postulates. Euclid's definitions and axioms. Point. When we make a dot with a sharp pencil on a paper, then it represents a point. The position of any object or any person can be represented by a point. For example, a man is walking. Then his footprints can be represented by points. Line. Line is a collection of points. A line has infinitely many points. Lines can be of different types. They can be long or short, straight or curved, horizontal, vertical or slanting. The ends of a line are points. Through a given point, there passes infinitely many lines. Surface. The exterior part or uppermost layer of anything is called a surface. The edges of a surface are lines. For example, the surface of a book, the surface of a table and the surface of the earth. Plane. A perfectly flat surface is called a plane. It is a collection of infinite number of lines. Geometrical plane extends endlessly in all the directions but has zero thickness. Plane is without elevation and depressions. For example, the wall of the room, the surface of the painting is some examples of plane. If we have two or more planes, then they can be parallel to each other or they can intersect each other. Euclid's Axioms An axiom is an assumption which applies to all the branches of mathematics. You are familiar with many axioms used in solving equation. These are also called common notions. Axiom 1 Things which are equal to the same thing are equal to one another. That is, if x is equal to z and y is equal to z, then x is equal to y. Example, if A is equal to 7 and B is equal to 7, then A is equal to B. Axiom 2. If equals are added to equals, the wholes are equal, that is, if X is equal to Y, then X plus Z is equal to Y plus Z. Example, if X is equal to 3 and Y is equal to 3, then X is equal to Y. Also, x plus 5 is equal to y plus 5. Axiom 3. If equals are subtracted from equals, the remainders are equals. That is, if x is equal to y, then x minus z is equal to y minus z. Example, if x plus 9 is equal to 10, then on subtracting 9 from both the sides we get x plus 9 minus 9 is equal to 10 minus 9 implies x is equal to 1. Axiom 4 Things which coincide with one another are equal to one another. That is, if two things are identical in every aspect, then they are equal. Example, if two circles with center O and O dash are such that one superimpose the other, then the areas of two circles are equal. Axiom 5. The whole is greater than the part. Circle A is a part of circle B. This means that the area of circle B is greater than the area of circle A. Axiom 6. Things which are double of the same things are equal to one another. Example. Consider two equal line A, B and X, Y then 2AB is equal to 2XY. Axiom 7. Things which are halves of the same thing are equal to one another. Example, if X is equal to B upon 2 and Y is equal to B upon 2, then X is equal to Y. Axiom 8. 